What's going on, everybody? The Iceman here on Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Video a little later than I wanted to do it, but anyway, Dynamite's premiere on TBS on Wednesday night. I thought overall the show was good, but I will say there was no new set. With Dynamite going on another channel, I thought the production in a lot of ways uh, with TBS and or AEW wasn't 100%. It wasn't, to me, uh, professional in a lot of ways, and I'll tell you why. Hangman Adam Page defending his title against Brian Danielson. We had three judges. We had Jerry Lynn, Paul White, Mark Henry. If the match went the distance of 60 minutes, I don't think AEW dared to do that once again after their first 60-minute match. Now, this match was promoted quite a bit. And although we haven't seen much of Hangman on TV other than the Dan, uh, Brian Danielson matches, you know, it made you wonder what was up. But Hangman came to work that night and he delivered what he had to do. Brian Danielson. Page both bloodied in a battle, and it was a great match. I thought, you know, everything they did was was beautiful. And I also thought for the fact that Hangman Page ended up pitting Brian Danielson for his first loss in AEW was even better to retain the AEW world title. What? ticked me off was after Hangman won you didn't see him celebrate in the ring after his victory. I had to see it on the internet later on the next day. Bad production by TBS and or AEW for sure. We also again CM Punk MJF segments. Come on, man. Um, it's getting old. Either do it or lose it. Period. I'm sick of it. So now Punk's going to wrestle Wardlow next week on Dynamite. Fine. You know, if you're going to wrestle MJF, then do it at Revolution Pay-Per-View. Get it over with. And plus the fact there's too many references to WWE and WCW on AEW programming. Sick of it. Don't need it. Why are you even referencing the other promotions? They don't do it for you. Let's face it. TBS Women's Champ. All right. It was Jade Cardgill. Homegrown. AEW against Ruby Soho. Good match. Uh, it went back and forth. And, you know, when you're watching this match, you really didn't know who was going to come out on top. A lot of fans predicted Soho coming out as the first ever TBS women's champ. But guess what? It was Jade Cardgill. So, Hangman, Adam Page, an original for AEW, retains the AEW title. Jay Cargill, original for AEW, wins the woman's TBS belt. Now, the main event, Ray Phoenix and Pentagon. Lucha Brothers defending their tag titles against Jurassic Express, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy Jack Perry. 
I had a gut feeling. I told people this. I had a feeling that Luchasaurus was going to win this match. And unfortunately, Ray Phoenix broke his arm going through the table. And that, to me, is a very huge setback for AEW. Although, if the plans were for the Lucha Brothers to lose, it will buy time for Ray Phoenix to take a lot of time off and heal his broken arm. But, Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, Jack Perry, win the AEW tag titles. Again, it was a night of AEW guys going over finally for once. I mean, it's about time that AEW pushed their guys and had them have a big night, and they did. The only thing that I will say is it was a big night for Jack Perry and Luchasaurus, and of course, they're with Christian. They all came out and celebrated at the end. It seems like this was a bigger match to AEW to go on and celebrate than it was for Hangman Adam Page to pin Brian Danielson. I didn't get the logic there. I didn't get that whatsoever at all. Um, they should have showed Hangman celebrating in the ring. Maybe Dark Order could have come out or whatever because he's very good uh, friends and associated with them. But they went to commercial. They went to advertisements, and I, I just didn't get it. So that's my big fault with the production for AEW on TBS this past Dynamite. I am glad with the outcome. Uh, Hangman Adam Page deserves this spot, and it's about time he got recognition. Now, how long he'll retain as AEW champion remains to be seen. We's, we've also heard that CM Punk said he wants to go after the title, and if he does, I think it'll be further on down the road, uh, well into this year. But um, again, you know, good show. Congrats to uh, Jade Cardgill being the first TBS Women's Champ. And definitely congratulations to Jungle Jack Perry and Luchasaurus for getting the tag belts. They've been pushing these guys on and off for since the beginning, really. And it's about time they finally got some recognition. This is the Iceman. We'll see you next time. It'll, this video will be on my Facebook page and my Iceman's Wrestling Extreme Facebook page. Please like and subscribe. Peace out, everybody. We'll see you all next time. And I want to throw a quick plug. Impact Wrestling, hard to kill tomorrow night. The card looks stacked. Watch it. And the only thing I can say is, AEW's Battle of the Belts was originally scheduled for 7 p.m. tomorrow night, and they changed it to 8, and it makes me wonder why, when you had a relationship with Impact Wrestling and you used the hell out of them for a whole year. We'll see you next time, everybody. Peace out.